What's up YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Another recent cracks video. Go through a bunch of M2s that I found in the store the other day. Got them all out of their cases. All polished up. You guys can check them out. So the first one up is at Auto Drivers. Um, this is a 70 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Um, really awesome looking. I like this one a lot. Tires were a little funky. I had to fix the front tires a little bit. They were really wobbly, but they're better now. But other than that, it's freaking good condition. It leans a little bit too to the right, this one. Uh, to the left, I mean. But it's not that bad. But everything else is in great shape. No opening parts on this. Look, Smallery. Awesome, the black hood and the stripe. Love it. Nice colored green. Beautiful car. Yeah, detail in the back. I hope those are lens or not. I don't think they are, but they might be. Plastic base because it's the auto drivers. Cool interior looks pretty good. All black. Detailing down the front. Yeah. I think it's a nice looking Ford Mustang. It really looks good. I like tire choice. The rim choice looks good. Yeah. Really cool. Okay, next up was one of those building ones that come with the um, lift. So this was the lift. For it right here in this beautiful blue color looks really good I always put these back on the lifts and just display them like that so I chose the black wheels in the front and the chrome in the back I think that looks awesome like that well, doing these kits is always a pain in the butt this one was the easiest one I've ever done what I usually do, somebody asked me on Instagram, I go in with a hobby knife, try and take the flashing out of the tire. It helps out a lot to get them on. <clears throat> um, some of them you have to take the base off, like the truck. This one I didn't have to take the base off. They slid on. And then you just got to, I put one tire on the table, put the axle in and then push down with this butt end of the screwdriver. And then I just thread it through and push them together. But this one was super easy to get together but they are a pain in the butt sometimes to get the tires on the rims for sure I really like this one this one looks really cool there's the front tires and the back tires got a red windshield which I'm not too happy about I don't want to black that out the front of that and that's really the only detail I need to put on there Everything else is done. But this is a cool little Willys Gasser, 41 Willys Gasser. I really like it in this Mac gray. Right? Oh, they kept it nice and simple. All metal base. Yeah, she looks good with the black tires, I think. So that's that one. Next up is another Willys. Yes, or this one came in the acrylic case. But this one has a couple quality issues on it. Um, the first one I've had with quality issues in a while, but it's got a couple. I'll show them to you. That's an awesome looking car. Beautiful paint color on this. That metallic looks great. The flame job looks great. You see, they blacked that out. I like that. That's so what I'm going to do on that other one. Really awesome. So, the first quality issues right there are like glue and crap, and the headlight isn't all the way set in like that one. A little bit. I tried taking the glue off a little bit, and that's what happened, so I'm leaving it alone. But it's really messy. I'm going to try to goo on stuff, see if that works good. 
But that was the first one. The second one, the bumper is just crooked. It's leaning down. It's hard to see it, but it is. It's leaning down a little bit. It's not bad, but I want to fix it. So, I mean, basically it's that front headlight was the quality issue, so. Nothing terrible. I mean, when I display, it's going to be sitting on its side. You're probably not even going to see it anyway. But she's a beautiful car. What a beauty. Yeah, gorgeous color. Tires were good on this one. Really nice. Oh, no. Yep. So, that's two Willy Gassers today, which is awesome. This was another beautiful car, this 64 Ford Econoline truck looks awesome. Boy, did they do a great job on this truck. Love it. Beautiful truck. Nice orange color, love the wheels on it. The wheels and tires look great on it. Beautiful detailing on the sides. The wood slots on the top of the bed. It's forward in the back. Everything's nice and clean looking. Everything was in great shape on this one. I think there's a fingerprint on the windshield on the other side. You see it right there. I couldn't get off. That's alright. Yeah, it's awesome. Nothing opens on this one either, so a lot of the ones in this, this set didn't open. None of them open that I got. They usually have a moving part on some of these. Oh, there's something right there I didn't even notice. Got a little bit of glue or something there. I think I can get that off to try. Didn't notice that through the first pass. I think that'll come off. Look at that beautiful truck. Really nice. Tires are in pretty good shape. A couple of them are a little wonky. I fixed them. Not too bad. Alright, next up, we got the... What is this year on this one? The 54, I think it is. It doesn't say Studebaker. To our truck and like a gasser look on this one. But I really like it. Nice matte gray, which is the holly on the doors, looks awesome. Great looking truck. No quality shift head hood, the top there's a little crooked in there, but I'm not going to force it because it'll probably snap off. Other than that, it's just, she's in great shape, wheels were in great shape. Everything's good on this one. No opening parts on this one either. Nice matte gray paint. Nice, yeah, see, that's the only thing I'll crook it. It bent over to the side, but that's nothing. White exhaust pipes coming out. Studebaker with painted tail lights. Get these big fat slicks in the back. Skinnies in the front. Really cool looking. Nice looking truck. Next up, um, Chevy pickup. What year was this one? Let me look. I don't remember. '79. That build kit. Well, this one was a pain in the butt to put together the back wheels. The axles didn't want to stay in the rims. I had to glue them, so they're not really ro rolling too good at all now. But I don't care. I'm going to put it back on the stand anyway. But axles just didn't want to stay in the holes. I think they made them too big or what. But they just kept falling out. <clears throat> so we threw a dab of glue in there. Other than that, everything went right. I chose the black wheels. I thought that looked better. Here's the engine you put in. It didn't give you a choice this time. It's just that one. Love the color. It's 
brown metallic looks great with the black. Nice heavy truck. Yeah, these back wheels are pretty tight now because I glued them. Scottsdale 10. This interior. Detailing in the back done. The lens tail lights. Very nice. Leave those are lens headlights. Nice black wash in the grill. This, of course, has a metal base. Yeah. Beautiful truck. Glad I got it. Next up, we got this beautiful 1970 C60 um, Chevy truck. This thing's a beast. Big, heavy casting. No, nothing opens on this one as well. Got dualies in the back. Love the color combination. The yellow and white looks great. She's a big, heavy truck. C60 right there. You got Mr. Gasket Company. 427. Beautiful detailing in the back. Looks great. Tailgate doesn't go down either. The lights on the top. Front end works great. Dualies are better now. I had to fix them. They were really, they're still a little wonky, but they were really bad. But now they're better, so. Yeah. Awesome truck. Big and heavy truck. I really like it. All right. Let's get that out of here. Let's readjust our camera here a little bit. Okay, take a look at some 124 scale. Let me back out a little bit. Sorry, guys, just this. I should have just paused it and did it. But. So, it's the 73 Chevrolet Cheyenne 10. One quality issue to paint here is kind of crappy, like something rubbed on it in that corner right there, which is pretty disappointing. And the fender's a little chipped up. It's just this side, but what are you going to do? I think they're packaged like this, if I remember right. I don't know. I don't remember, but I didn't see it. Nice detailing in the front. There's the engine. Looks sweet. Turbo on there. Two twin turbos. Doors open. Pretty good interior. You probably go in there and detail a lot of that stuff up. All the gauges are there. They just need to be detailed up. Your back end. Um, of course, the frame and the bed's all metal. This is plastic. There's big tires in the back. Paint looks good everywhere else. It's just that one fender. Not too bad. Pain in the butt to get these off the bases. Eight screws to get these off. But I like it off the base. Because the base doesn't come in an acrylic case. It's just the box. So if it came to your acrylic case, I'd probably leave it in there. But it don't. So there's the underneath. Looks pretty sweet. The dual gas tanks there. Looks awesome. So all in all, except for that one quality issue, she's a good looking truck. Nice, um... Uh, Addition to the 124 scale collection. Rolls, of course, perfect. Really cool. And we got one more 124 scale. We got the VP Racing truck. And the black and the red. This thing looks really sweet, too. This had no issues, I don't believe, with it. Rolls. So basically the same exact truck. Um, door it's going to be the same just red interior this time it shows up a lot better 
black paint. We got the yellow headlights this time. This look cool. I think the bumpers, yeah, the bumper was crooked on this one a little bit. I might have to try and fix that. That was the issue with this one, that's right. Needs to send, needs to go up. Looks great, Cheyenne with the 10 and the yellow. Wheels in the yellow looks great. And you got the turbos there again, same motor. Making power. Same bed. Batteries in the back. Same underneath. Everything's the same, just different paint job. I thought it was really cool, so for 24 bucks, it's not bad. I wasn't paying more than that. It's a real heavy, nice piece, though. They look really good. So these will be good in this, the case with the rest of the 124th scale. Let me put them in there. So I'll do it for this video, guys. Um, yeah. So that's everything I got in a couple days. Unboxed everything. Now I put everything away. All set. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for all the comments and the likes. Take care. Have a great day.